are watching in Sri Lanka live on CSN. Thank you for the company. Fabulous to have you go all, all dressed up for the Carlton Super 7s. What more can you ask for? Here we go. Sadio Kumara with the start. Nice ball hung up there. Collected cleanly and uh, set up. Good clean hands. Here we go. Concern. Referee says, hang on. What was that? Not 10. First game for the Northern Gladiators. We've seen uh, some of the other teams twice already as we watch uh, Collins Injera trying to spin his way towards the line. This Kenyan team making up a large proportion of the Jaffna challengers. Yes, uh, they've got the whole contingent here for the uh, challengers. Good tackle. Pressure. There's the Kenyans now trying to set up again. Nice clean. Looks like uh, it's the first points. Yes, and that's Collins Injera scoring for the Jaffna challengers. They had a bit of a miserable tournament up in Navala Pitiya. Didn't do too well in the first game either here, but uh, that'll give them a little bit of uh, confidence and Collins uh, will be the danger man for them. He scored almost all their points so far. Yes, uh, he's a bit of a star on the International World Series circuit. And Jera is uh, a very, very uh, strong name about his skill and quality and he carries that before him and you can see he's, uh, he's a finisher of uh, rare distinction. And that's what the challengers need now. They didn't have a very good outing, uh, but uh, they, they just need to get their confidence back uh, and get that understanding going. Saji Saranga, of course, uh, skipper in the side. He's got uh, his plate really full, and uh, this is about uh, the quality that you talk about. This is about stepping up to the mark uh, and being able to up your game. And that's what uh, is the best thing that Sri Lanka can look forward to. Sajid Saranga, the captain of the Jaffna Challengers. Lucky to have his candy, former candy teammate, Salia Kumara, to start things off. Good contest for the restart. Salia gets it back to where he kicked it, but he won't mind because possession is everything. Salia being manhandled there by the Fijian player for Northern Gladiators holding him up from the mall and that needs to come out of there otherwise the ball will go to the Northern Gladiators. Yes, that's something that uh, players will do. They'll pick up the lighter player and hold on to him by uh, so that he doesn't have much of a choice. Here's uh, Udir Kumara with a long cutout pass. Could have been easily uh, quite dangerous. The two uh, Kenyans linking up now. They're going back the challengers. Somebody needs to just uh, motor up here and uh, try and truck the ball up. That's what he does. There we go. Opportunity now. Almost through there. <laughs> that is a sight and a half. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Couldn't quite deck him in the process, but uh, was wrestling anyway. Sadiq Kumar taken quickly. Number on the outside. Decides to cut back in. Challengers have to really make a big statement now, uh, Shanaka. Yes, they do. They've uh, not had a good tournament in the domestic competition. Also didn't start well this morning. Jera shrugs off one tackler. Going sideways, looking for uh, some uh, somebody to offload. Finds Udir Kumara. So stretches it from the left flank to the right. Udir Kumara needed to somehow swing it back quickly, but he gets uh, caught once again. And it's turned over, but no, the referee says uh, it's on. turned over illegally. So we're looking at a card here. And yes, he's already seen the first card of this match. That's uh, Taizu, is it, referee? Yes, and that's uh, Lienage, I think. Pradeep Lienage uh, being yellow carded. So he's off the park quickly. And uh, oh, the advantage. I was just about to talk about the advantage. And. Uh, slip and I think that's uh, pretty much a done deal now yes taking advantage trying to take advantage of the man that they had as a one lap advantage but unfortunately for them it goes the other way and the northern gladiators scoring that will make them very happy yes I mean it's something against the run of play have a look at this and this is uh, what we talk about the basics here's the try coming up easily done just one step in and turn the uh, gear up Turn two gears up when you're underneath the post. Thank you very much. But uh, that's, of course, about uh, doing your basics right. And that doesn't change. I was talking earlier on with some of the New Zealand boys. They're saying, mate, we just got to get the basics absolutely right. Do the small things really, really well. And everything else will line up. Basil Marija, captain of the Northern Gladiators. He's uh, reunited with his uh, longtime candy teammate. This is Pradeep Lianagay in the Sinbin. Uh, but uh, he played for the Typhoons in the uh, domestic leg but he has been bought by uh, Mushtaq has pressed for him to be included because he knows the value of this man.
Yes, very much so. Uh, the team, of course, uh, Lena Gay was captaining, felt that uh, they wanted uh, maybe a little bit more quality. Uh, wasn't uh, really the decision that everybody thought might happen. But nevertheless, he saw that and he's settled in with the, uh, the Gladiators now. Vishamitra Jaisinger dances, he dances out. He's the under-23 player for this Northern Gladiators team. He'll have a chance to stretch his legs as well, no doubt, in this tournament. Beautifully done by Saranga there, won the wrestle. The ball's available now for the challengers. Nicely done by Sali Kumara, under pressure now. Sali has been looking to take it into contact as his first option, which is a little disappointing from a guy of his caliber. Well, yes, it's always sometimes a little bit uh, worrying when you get the small man trying to take on the big boys. We talk about trying to make sure that, uh, you know, you, you hold your petrol up. Oh! Indigo there, Kumara makes a good run, but he's upended. On to his tailbone. And is to keep the ball available. And there's Injera, I think it is. Uh, just trying to make sure that he gets that ball safely back for all the year. challenges. Rushed, panic ball, but Sali Kumara will settle it now. Here we go. Yes! That's what he does, and that's what he's so efficient at. Hasn't forgotten his old skills. Nice to see. Sali Kumara is just showing the ball just for that split second, making sure the defender turned, and that's all he needed to go through that gap. So good work there. Initially from Indika Udaya Kumaru, who made the good run down the right flank as we watch the replay. Here's Salia, he's got two men over, takes on Vishamitra Jaisinger, who should have done a little better, I think, and uh, shows the ball and goes over easy as you like. That's it, and uh, you talk about uh, Vishamitra, he really should have taken his man instead of letting him run. And he's got the pace on him, and he just watched him just glide past. Not very good defense from Vishamitra, and no communication between the two players on a one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, there's Donald Duck, hi. He's gonna be a little hot. <laughs> Unless he's got air conditioning, mate. Uh, got Obelix as well there. Yes, and Ob Asterix, hopefully. Obelix has lost a bit of weight from what I last remember him. Well, he's a Sri Lankan Obelix, mate. He's been hiding <laughs> out here. Has been on the pasta for sure. Gordon Titchens, I had, had the opportunity of just saying hello to him at breakfast. What a great human being that man really is. 20 years at the top of his game. Unbelievable. And we'll get a chance to talk with him as well. Willie Lose, of course. Uh, we'll be uh, able to uh, line up later on and have a word with George and uh, Gordon. And uh, Billy was telling me that uh, George actually coached Gordon. Uh, <laughs> and that's how they met. And the relationship has grown ever since. Here's ball. Soft, greasy hands. Not helping at all. The Jaffa Challengers just 10 meters away. And they make a mess of it. Or do they? Here we go. Oh, nice. Slight of hand. Magician. Yes, he is. That uh, looks like Felix Ainge. And the Kenyan boys uh, really making a mess of things for the Northern Gladiators. They're combining well within themselves. They need a little bit more cohesion with the local players on the Safna Challengers team. And that uh, brings us to the end of the half. And it looks like it's going to be a cracking game come the next seven minutes because the Northern Gladiators are playing their first game and they will need to be on the ball. They certainly will. And uh, this is, of course, half time. Uh, we're just uh, lining the, th the things up here in Gaul. Clouds bubbling up over the fort. Beautiful breeze right across from the Indian Ocean. Blue skies, my country, our paradise. Here's the halftime score, 17-7 to the Jaffa Challengers. And Daryl put a smile on their face uh, as uh, Lose Willie is going to take on and have a chat with one of the big Kenyans. All of you around Sri Lanka, enjoy. And I'm here with uh, Humphrey Kayenge, one of the uh, imported players, of course, former captain of Kenya. And Humphrey, how are you finding the conditions here in Sri Lanka? It's hot and humid, uh, really taking a toll on the bodies. Um, we thought we'd get uh, this would be easier playing down here, but uh, it's really working uh, hard on the boys, but uh, enjoying the tournament so far. One of the concerns, obviously, is the footwear. Some of the guys are slipping over in the cricket pitch there. How do you address that and what will change for tomorrow? Yeah, I think uh, it's right in the middle of the pitch where the wicket is usually in cricket. That's where all, this, all the boys are just falling down. Uh, I think we just have to adapt and play uh, around that area. I don't think much will change going into tomorrow, but uh, just need to see how we'll work the pitch and uh, not uh, have, have, have a quick step us in the middle. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers, mate. Cheers. All right, uh, they were hit by 12 at the break. Let's head back to our commentary team. Thank you very much, uh, Willie Lose. What a wonderful sight to see him here. Rare sight indeed. And we were talking about the world class and the quality of everybody here, including the commentary uh, team. And that was Willie Lose, of course, a former Samoan skipper. Uh, here in Sri Lanka as part of the IRB World Series, he does all the commentary on the circuit. Uh, 
a real pleasure and a privilege to be able to sat next to him uh, and pick up on some pointers in the meantime this is a hard graph now second half they know they've got to get it right they're talking about what uh, work they have to do the huddle in the second half the huddle in the half time would have been listen lads try and keep position as much as possible and try and make sure that you get it uh, in space and create everything uh, that of course uh, comes down to uh, basics we talk about basics and that doesn't change if you're a New Zealand world champion or if you're playing for Sri Lanka in the corner it, it comes down to the simple things here we go as we start nice high ball beautifully hung and uh, Jaffa challenges manages to hold on to it eventually rolling on the deck there the number 13 for the challenges is uh, fresh legs on the park for the challenges Shanaka yes looks very much like it as the Northern Gladiators start this half with a little bit more intent, they seem to have thought it was an easy game earlier on. And the challenges have surprised them. Certainly have. Good wide ball. Basil Marija in his uh, number 10 jersey that I saw used to seeing him in the Kodeo Kamara with a little bit of gas on the outside, but drops the ball in the face of a good cover tackle. Yes, beautiful cover tackle from behind. If you uh, can see a replay of this, this is what you consider a perfect smother tackle hit the man and the ball and make sure you clatter him boom there you go perfect and the ball uh, just uh, squeezes out over there Kamara's hands uh, but he's good he stands up with the tacklers watch this ready ah oh, lovely absolutely delightful and that's what we talk about coaches saying when you get across to defend don't let the man get the ball away try and hit him with the ball and then make sure you hit the deck beautiful wonderful sight waiting on uh, a scrum ball there from that uh, knock forward hard time uh, you heard Willie talking to uh, the skipper there the former skipper about the humidity and he mentioned it I'll tell you this much if you haven't been training in these conditions it is almost impossible to, uh, to recover very quickly you know, your normal recovery is going to be a little bit under stress you've got to really get into the rehydrate get the ice sorted out get the ice towel on your neck and try and cool down as much as possible challenges with more ball they've uh, been going into a lot of contact in the second half so far well it looks like they've changed their format of play I think the coach has said listen don't try and spin it wide just uh, take them on a little bit more commit the numbers and then try and spin it wide I'm surprised the Northern Gladiators haven't gone for the kick chase option they've uh, got a lot of speedsters in their side Mithun Hapagoda and Vishwamitra Jasinga Yes, and uh, here's the chance now for the Gladiators to settle up. Lovely long ball out, Vishamitra. Oh dear, oh dear. They're going to really have to sort this. Uh, here's Fazil now having a go himself. Man on the outside. Cut back, nicely back into the pocket. Now they need to set it up again. They got numbers on the wide. Cut them open there with that run. This is Jasinger. Lien again, and then uh, a terrible ball. Really should have collected that ball. There was uh, no reason at all why he should have dropped that, but in the process, uh, gives the ball back to the challengers and all of that hard work undone. Yes, that was uh, unfortunate because Fazil made a great break. Lien again with the ball out there. It was a nice soft ball to take, and uh, it really should have been collected. A little bit of complacency for the Northern Gladiators. Yes, and very frustrating too when that happens because you just got possession and uh, you make that silly mistake and the ball is then handed back to the other side, uh, which means a lot more hard work now. For, uh, recycle legs now for the uh, challenger. Sali Kumara comes off. Rehan Mirakon, I think, comes on. So he'll play as a fly half or perhaps scrum half. We'll have a quick look. He played scrum half in the last game that uh, he started. Shan, so he'll probably slot into that position once again. Sali is a little bit more dangerous, I think, at fly half. Yes, and uh, Sadi Saranga also coming off the park. Recycling again. There's the uh, the coach, all the challengers up there. Just saying, let's sort it out. Put the Kamara back on the wing. So he's moved back to the wing. Here's scrum ball now. Coach. Scrum has been a bit of a concern. Point. Set. Yes. Touch bind set is the call that they're using. So, and they're also waiting for the ball to be put in. Uh, and uh, that's also the referee's call apparently so we'll try and uh, clarify that so there's four calls in effect uh, which is going to cause all sorts of issues as we get along Jera and Ainge combining there for the Jaffna challenges on the blind side 
but just not enough support play. Once again, the Northern Gladiators being drawn into the defensive battle, committing a lot of players to the ruck, so they've got space outside, but the Jaffna Challengers just don't seem to have the wherewithal to spin it as wide Coach. as they would need to. Yes, and it's all about finishing at this stage of the game. You want to try and get those points on the board as fast as possible and try and uh, conserve the petrol. So when you need it, as you say, it's going to be two long days. Nice defended off there. Still managing to uh, hold off two players, taking on both and really pushing them out of the way. Good to see the big Kenyan working hard. Here's hands. Soft pass coming in. Pop ball. Nicely done. Easily through there a big step over the top up got a could not deck his man try time yes that was easily done drawing the defense nice little short pass coming in on a different angle have a look at this here it is now look at that hurled it up held it now and then this one tackle should have gone a little bit higher and uh, these big boys have got uh, you know three four yards on them in one step so it's very tough Got to try and uh, slow them down, if nothing else. So a good try for the Jaffa Challengers. Turning out to be an interesting game. Absolutely. Mithun Hapugoda is, uh, was never going to have a chance there. He's one of the smallest men on the pitch. One of the fastest. But uh, he, uh, Carlin Isles and Sasha and Mohamed, I think will be a really, really hard-pressed to see a nice kick and chase between those guys if we manage to get the chance. I'm sure that's part of uh, some of their whiteboard planning when they get a chance like that to try and uh, really... Uh, oh. Not a very good kick at all. This is the little things that you've got to get right. The coach will definitely make a note of that one. It's done again now. Taken quickly. Brazil. Years and years of uh, rugby between those two. Still available for Sri Lanka, which is nice to see. Oh, pace. Beautiful pace. Have a look at this. Oh, that is pure class. Good stuff, Sri Lanka. Have a look at this, here it is now. Early ball given. Nicely, outside. That's uh, Murray Seva. Beautiful try. And that's what it's all about, really, from number 11. All the uh, gladiators just turn a pace so sharp. First 10 meters takeoff. Rapid. Good petrol. Bench looking a little less confident. Sudarshan for the country on the pitch for the Northern Gladiators. Had a good tournament. He's regained his fitness. Nicely taken there under pressure. Well done by the uh, challengers. Uh, ball into touch. Try time. Finish. That's it. Full time rather. And uh, the challengers take that quite easily in the end. Right, much against the run of play. So well done, the Jeff challengers. Very much. 26 points to 12. Completely unexpected results. So Jaffna challengers coming back strongly in their second game. To sum that up for you, Hishan Belmilla. Thank you, Hishan. Jaffna challengers can never say no. The gladiators can never make the same mistake. Nima would have fought for me. Jaffna will be seeing how he will play. I was not lucky to score.